I'm going to do a reaction video to um, Candace Owens talking about Travis Kelsey dating Taylor Swift. I think Taylor Swift is the most one of the most evil human beings on the entire planet. I think that it's uh, not a coincidence whatsoever that all of a sudden, as soon as she starts dating Travis Kelsey, Travis Kelsey starts pushing a certain medication on the American population and throughout the world because that's what the elites do. They think by, you know waving so-called famous people in front of our eyes and those famous people telling us what to do that will automatically do it. So um, Candace Owens gets in, into their relationship and she talks about it. Um, before I say the things I'm going to say, I always have to you know make this clear. Um, as from a political standpoint, I probably agree with most of the things that Candace Owens says. I think she's classy. I think she's educated. I think she carries herself well. Um, I think a lot of young women in America, regardless of race, could learn a lot of things from her about how you should conduct yourself and carry yourself as a woman. So when I get critical of her, please don't say that it's because of different political views. So let's watch the video. <clears throat> and the paparazzi is now capturing pictures of Joe Jonas's daughter leaving his ex-girlfriend Taylor Swift's apartment. Ex by over a decade ago, and Taylor Swift is not over it. But people ignore this side of Taylor Swift. They pretend that she's a nice girl because she makes music that appeals to angsty teenagers. And so everybody just thinks she's just an angsty 15-year-old. Ignore the fact that she's a 30. I mean, I couldn't agree more. I think anytime you deal with the anybody in the entertainment industry, especially somebody like Taylor Swift that just devours other human beings for their energy and like, you know, every 90 days they're supposedly in love with somebody else. Like Jennifer Lopez, you know, like, oh, Jenny from the block is in love again with somebody. Like, uh, uh, how many times have we heard this in her short 54 years on the planet? You know what I mean? So it, it's, it like makes me sick that Travis Kelsey's such a tool bag that he allows this lady to just like be screaming in his mother's face at Chiefs. They don't even know each other from a hole in the wall. Oh, well, that's Taylor Swift. And now, you know, the whole team is taken hostage because this idiot is dating somebody where if I had to do the over and under on their relationship, it'll probably last six months or less. But he's the perfect tool bag for the elites to carry out their agenda. You know, they want to distract you from what's really going on in the country. And we'll just watch the video from there four-year-old adult woman who has a very odd dating pattern if she's so wonderful and she's so great and she's so sweet why hasn't any man set up to the plate to marry her why nobody wants to marry her because she's a monster monster with a capital m and joelle would want to marry her after six years of dating her what was the process of actually putting this well, maybe it's because Taylor Swift has a lot of personalities and people think that that's cute and it's funny because you get to dress up as one of her personalities and go to the Eros tour. But me, and maybe I suffer from also being 34-year-old <laughs> adult woman, I just think it's odd. I think her behavior is really, really cringy. And I think that those of us who have had the courage to say this, despite the fandom, the evil Taylor Swift fandom coming after you and threatening to kill you, if you don't see that she's actually perfection, yeah, I'm well, they can threaten me all they want. I could care less. I think she is the devil, like literally Satan in the flesh. Um, I can't remember the other girl's name. Uh, what the hell was her name? The country singer. Oh, she reminds me of um, Miley Ray Cyrus, whatever the hell her name is. Like they're demonic and there's nothing perfection about them. Uh, the way they carry themselves, the way they conduct themselves is disgusting. I don't care how much money they got, how much fame they have. The way that they have to be the center of attention everywhere they go, it's just, it's just disgusting. I'm going to hold on to my opinion. Think about all the times that you've used Wi-Fi at a coffee shop, a hotel, or even at your parents' house. Without ExpressVPN, every site that you visit could be logged by the administrator of that network. And that's still true even when you're in incognito mode. Your home internet provider can also see and record all of your browsing data. And in the United States, they are legally allowed to sell that data to advertisers. ExpressVPN is an app that encrypts all of your network's data and reroutes it through a network of secure servers so that your private online activity stays just that, private. ExpressVPN works on all of your devices and is super easy to use. The app literally has just one button. You tap it. To now, you don't need to know the whole story, but essentially, 
Travis Kelsey went to her Eras tour, as did a lot of other players, because it happens in their stadium. Imagine being a, he received a French. Can you imagine being like an NFL linebacker or a safety or whatever, and you're at a <laughs> you're at a Taylor Swift concert? Yeah, let's go to this Taylor Swift concert. I'm get I'm gonna get crazy tonight. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna show my masculine dominance tonight. I'm gonna show up at a Taylor Swift concert. Like I hope the Chiefs Chiefs lose every game for the rest of their lives bracelet as everybody at her concerts does because remember she's 15 if you're gonna lean into a 15 year old narrative at the ripe age of 34 convincing the masses that you are 15 handing out friendship bracelets is a good place to start so anyways oh chief did the kansas city chiefs get their friendship friendship bracelets did you guys get your friendship bracelets can we all wear them together on game day on sunday put your friendship bracelets on Travis got one of these friendship bracelets and oh God, he broke his number up. on the back of it. Taylor He's Swift. a tool bag. Look at Travis Kelsey's appearance since he um, since he started dating uh, Taylor Swift. Like he looks like Trucker Bob, right? He shaved off the beard. He's got the he's got the stash going, right? He but like not even a month ago, you know, he was Mr. Cool, thought he was from Compton and uh you know, now he's uh, Trucker Bob, and he's going to start wearing overalls and cowboy hats and cowboy boots, you know. I, I can't I can't stand this guy. Hold on. Let me see. Travis, oh, let me look up something real quick. Okay? Ever received it, and of course this broke... You know, when he was with Kayla and Nicole, he had a totally different style, right? So now, now, Tra now Travis is going to come to the games with, uh, with susp overalls on and uh, cowboy boots. and <laughs> He's just a cornball. He, he really is corny. How come nobody talks about the Kayla and Nicole uh, situation where he treated that girl like complete garbage? You know, he was so proud of himself for, you know, making her pay... You know, this guy's worth $100 million, and he's petty as hell, making her pay half the rent. You know, oh, I gave her a couple thousand for food here or there, but he'll he'll close, he'll close buy out the whole restaurant and close it down for Taylor Swift, you know, to eat a cheeseburger. But nobody wants to get into that because Taylor Swift, she's just a goddess, according to all the, I guess they're called Swifties. I never even heard that term until I started researching this. But Travis Kelsey is the ultimate tool bag. And I really don't like when men get taken advantage of when they work for something, they lose half of their money just because they might have dated somebody or married somebody. But nothing would make me happier than to see this tool bag lose half of his fortune because now he wants to be part of the elite pushing certain medications on the population and just the way he conducts himself, just the way he carries himself. Into the press. And what I imagine happened behind the scenes was that her excellent million dollar marketing team sat down and said, oh, Travis Kelsey of the Kansas City Chiefs wants to go out on a date with you, and we think this would be a good relationship for you. And they sat down with the map and told her how it would help her <laughs> exactly. brand. And they calculated and talked about how many songs she could write and how much money she could make in the end and how actually this is one category that she's never stepped into. This is a new personality. Yeah. It's a new, oh, the dawn. Yeah, she's using him like the tool bag that he is, and he can't figure it out because he thinks he's like, you know, the God's gift to the planet. So he's a tool bag for letting her do. I don't care. Who, I don't. He's worth a hundred million dollars. You think he needs any more money? So he, he's going to let himself get used because she needs to have a new market and he's too stupid to figure it out. But the girl that was there for him when he, you know, just a normal girl got a college degree to be a sports broadcaster, Kayla Nicole, uh, you know, Obviously, she doesn't have the body count of, uh, you know, of Taylor Swift, just looking at things from that perspective, and pushes that girl off to the side to be with Taylor Swift, and, you know, I hope he gets taken for a ride and gets all his money taken. Of a new Taylor era. Yes, I know you were just with Matt Healy, but imagine yourself, imagine the next album, imagine the next Taylor. This could be your next two years. And I think that they said this was a good decision. Yeah, this guy doesn't have too bad of a history like Matt Healy did when they sat down in that same meeting and said break up with him immediately because it's bad for your brand. I think that this is actually what goes on behind the scenes. And Taylor decided, yes, I'm going to go to this Kansy. Yep, Travis Kelsey, he's going to be square dancing now, doing a honky tonk, you know. 
he, he went from, you know, being a rapper to now he's all in, two feet in with country music and the boots on. And hee-haw, cowboy, right? Kansas City Chiefs game and completely adapt my personality because I used to be the girl that was in the marching band when I was telling you guys that I was a nerd in my first album. But now <laughs> I'm the cheerleader in the stands. Now, what's creepy about the images coming out? Well, first and foremost, Taylor has this propensity to immediately become friends with whoever she's dating, their mom. Way too soon. Way too soon. Exactly. As just one example, Matt Healy of 1975, her former two-week fling. Yeah, this is a picture of Taylor with Matt Healy's mom backstage. Oh, I love moms. Yay, I'm 15 and moms are great. Amazing. Well, the same can be said of this image of her with Travis Kelsey's mom in the yeah, stands as she was rooting. She's just so, she, Taylor, so she's just so into the game, right? Look at her face. She's just acting all the time, right? Because she's got to be the center of attention all the time. And Travis Kelsey, the tool bag, you know, he won't be like, look, can you just back off my mom a little bit? Like, have her sit her somewhere else. No, she's just – Travis Taylor Swift is going to take over Chief Stadium now, right? And Patrick Mahomes, you're a tool bag too, waving to her and doing all the stuff that you're doing. I mean, look what you – you let your wife and your brother basically almost ruin your career – you let your moron brother stomp on Sean Taylor's, uh, you know, memorial gravesite on the field, and you still didn't, you know, do, say anything publicly, apologize, tell him he's an idiot because you're a tool bag too. So you, you, I know you and Travis are tight. It's like the team of tool bags. You guys are perfect for each other. I really hope you both lose half your fortune. I don't think Taylor Swift follows football. In fact, I feel very comfortable saying that Taylor Swift does not follow football. Oh, but boy, did she follow football on this Sunday as she rooted like she was, I don't know, just the most dedicated Kansas City Chiefs fan that you've ever seen. I mean, the emotive expressions, looking like she was just going to pass out if they didn't complete a, t a pass. It was just so fake. So plastic, so manufactured. Exactly. Very inauthentic. Exactly. And that has always been my assessment about Taylor. It's like worse than me thinking that she's a mean girl. I think she's really, really annoying and cringy. That's what I but think. But my predictions for this, yes, Taylor Swift, if I was on your marketing team, I would say stick with this at least through the football season. At least the football season. And if you're smart, do it for two years so people don't realize how calculated you are. And you'll have time to write an entire album. A new vision of Taylor Swift, this time as the person who is dating somebody on a football team and who is the cheerleader. People on TikTok, particularly this one guy at Will King Music, did not miss the opportunity to predict just what sort of songs she might write after her breakup with Travis Kelsey. Take a listen. What if I told you that you can use motion ray to improve your videos fast? For example, you can... You stole my heart, you intercepted it. You stole my heart, you intercepted it. Now you're gonna have to accept it. Did I meet your mom too soon? Or did what I always do? My name is Taylor Swift and I'm the devil just like you. And then you kissed me. We made it to the 40. A new love story. This is be Travis Kelsey in a month. He's gonna be jamming like this. Country songs. Right? He went from Dr. Dre to uh, Glock, Glock 40 to, to country music, right? Key Glock, whatever his name is. Leg on the play. Oh, that, what a song. I mean, you know, I really think I could do country totally. music. You know, it's like, let me just make up a song real quick. Uh, a pair of jeans and a t-shirt on a Friday night. Put my boots on and jumped in my truck and headed to watch some NASCAR. They see all of the girls in the audience in their diapers because they don't want to miss even one second of the Taylor Swift concert as they've been doing on the Eras tour and just nodding their head and just stepping into that. Like, oh, that's how I felt. I wanted to throw a flag on the play. It's bizarre. I'm telling you the fandom of Taylor Swift. It's bizarre. If you're a young person and you can't see what she is, calculated, yeah, manipulative, calculate. 
Cal- and- Taylor Swift is calculated, manipulated, uh, a liar, a demon, and again, focus here. Soon as Travis Kelsey starts dating her, he's doing commercials to push a certain product on the American population. You think that – you don't think behind the scenes maybe her team was the one that got him to do that commercial? Think logically. And Definitively not a nice girl. Fine. I can deal with that because I loved her music when I was super young. But if you're an adult human being and you can't see this for what it is, I, I, I don't know to tell you. I guess just wait eight months when her and Travis break up and I tell you that I was right and we'll take it from there. But one thing that I can say, one thing that makes me happy is that real football fans, not the ones that come to a game and pretend that they're dying <laughs> on the sidelines because they just want the media to capture some pictures. But the real football fans are not falling for this. So there has been a TikTok trend that's gone viral, wives pranking their husbands by saying that Taylor Swift put Travis Kelsey on the map. And this guy's response, it's all of me. Take a listen. Babe, have you seen all the stuff about Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift? Oh, yeah. How she, like, put him on the map and, like, no one knew who he was before he started dating her? Put him on the map. Yeah, like no one knew who he was before he started dating Taylor Swift. Are you f- high right now? This motherfucker has two Super Bowl championship rings, like over 70 touchdowns, and f- I don't know, like 10,000 receiving yards. I don't know. People are just saying he's really blowing up now that he's dating Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift needs to stay the f- out of football. <laughs> it's the only thing that I have that gives me peace, and she has to come in and, and f- it up. Stupid. On the map. As I said, that guy is literally me. And yes, she does need to stay out of football, but trust me when I I mean, I couldn't have said it any better myself. Can she just go the F away? Because she's just, it's just typical Hollywood people. You know, they're just, it's like when Matthew McConaughey, when when the Texas Longhorns are doing well, and then that idiot has to go to the sideline and make it all about him. And then he miraculously ends up in the locker room before the national championship to give the team a speech. Like if I, I was, if I was on the team, I'd just walk out of the locker room. And you think he would say to himself like, hey, I'm not part of this team. I'm not, I have nothing to do with this. You know, he would just chill out and, and from the back and watch what's going on. No, he's got to make it about him. He's got to give a big speech to the team. It, it, it's like they, they're always acting 24 hours a day, these people. It, it's just, it's sickening. Oh, yeah, let's let's get Matthew McConaughey to give a big uh, speech to the team before they go out for the national championship. Just what we need. Say that she won't. And that's all I have to say about that.